Let's talk about our vaping story. This is a huge story. So many layers. I mean, it's in the headlines every day. I mean, it's changing every single day and it's kind of hard for us to even keep up. The latest numbers from the CDC has 1,800 people sick, 37 deaths. The majority of these people vaped using THC. Some used THC and nicotine, and a small number used just nicotine. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's really scary about this is that people are really young. 80% of them have been under 35 years old. And I talked to a doctor here in town who's treated a lot of these people with vaping-related illnesses. And he says they like the safety of vaping versus using a cigarette. That's how it was marketed, as this safer alternative to cigarettes. I interviewed this 25-year-old Oregon man who smoked cigarettes for five or six years, decided to vape, thought he was making the healthier choice. He vaped two nicotine pods a day and sometimes THC. His doctors said he almost died because of vape toxicity. I mean, that's really scary. It's scary because it's happening to so many different people in so many different states, and there's just a lot we don't know. I met with Justin Wilson and his dad, Jake, at their family business, a gym in Southeast Portland. It's been almost two months since Justin was rushed to the hospital and put in a medically induced coma after he couldn't breathe. Total respiratory failure. Your lungs just stopped working. Completely collapsed, yeah. Doctors said he had vape toxicity. The former smoker has been using Juul for a year and occasionally vapes THC. The doctor told me that he was not breathing on his own and if things didn't change and fast, he was going to die. And then he asked me if I would like to speak with a chaplain. A special team was able to get Justin breathing again. I know that people who are not vaping are not getting this. Um, but until we know what's causing it, or what about vaping, or what type of vaping, or if it's a certain product, or if it's a certain chemical or a certain additive. Until we know, you're, you're rolling the dice every time. These electronic cigarettes have been around for around 10 years. In the case of Juul, about two and a half years. Uh, and already we're seeing a rash of illnesses. According to the CDC, with more than 1,800 vaping-related lung illnesses and 37 deaths, finding the common thread has been a challenge for health officials. Some patients have reported only vaping THC products, others just nicotine, and some have used both. Some states, like in Oregon, can legally sell THC. Others have a much bigger black market. Regulation varies. A big question, what's in these cartridges? We set out to buy our own vaping products and have them tested by a private lab. All right, so what are we looking to buy? Let's buy three THC cartridges from dispensaries. Dispensaries are all regulated by the OLCC, but the agency said they are not testing any of the additives in the cartridges. So maybe with these THC products people are buying at legal dispensaries, there's a level of false security because of those additives that aren't tested, so you don't really know what you're getting. No, you really don't. We also bought several products at tobacco shops to be tested. Two nicotine pods regulated by the FDA and a CBD pod not regulated at all. All right, let's check in with the lab. Okay. Hello? Hi, is this Justin? Hi, it is. Hi, it's Kristen Severance and Mila with KGW. How are you? Very good, how are you? Thanks for the call. Great, thank you so much. Okay, so we bought a number of products. Will you be able to test all of those products? Yes, we will. Lightscale in North Portland agreed to test the products for 130 common and problematic chemicals, including pesticides and carcinogens. How long did they say it would take? I think they were about five to eight days. The results showed these five products passed government standards. This one, Fresh Hemp CBD did not actually contain any CBD. It did contain lead. There's no national standard for a safe amount of lead in vaping products, but California regulators set their own limit. Our sample tested 800 times over that limit. The company couldn't be reached for comment. That's very toxic. Yeah, it's very, very toxic. Bryce Kidd is the lab director at Lightscale. He said the mango CBD test results concerned him because remember, we bought that cartridge at a tobacco shop. These types of shops exist all across the country. 
Uh, so I imagine that there are, you know, many other products, you know, like this, um, not only in Oregon, but in a lot of other states, which is you know, what we've seen. Kid says even the states like Oregon that require testing can do better. Can certain chemicals be missed when it comes to testing this stuff? Absolutely. Um, we are looking for a very specific uh, list of chemicals. Um, and so if we don't know what we're looking for, then we, there is the chance that we miss it. I think your jaw's gonna drop. And while the raw oil is tested, the cartridges are not tested after they're filled. And that's what's sold to customers. Take a look at the VQ nicotine pod that we bought. While the product passed testing, Kid said they were concerned when they opened the box to test it. This corrosion has been caused from the oil seeping through this electronics uh, compartment into these onto these electrodes. And so you can see the the, the brown and you know, green crud. This especially, you know, is likely not going to be good to handle and, and smoke. The maker of VQ pods has not returned our multiple requests for a comment. Dr. Bauerfeind believes there's no smoking gun to this epidemic, but a variety of factors leading to so many people getting sick or worse. With regard to non-smokers, people who don't have any experience with cigarettes, the message is absolutely do not touch these things. It is just not worth doing that chemical experiment in your body. And while we don't know the cause, Jake Wilson wants people to remember this picture of his son, who chose vaping, thinking it was better for his health. It's, it's hard to even imagine um, the thought of losing your child.